Welcome to Film Riot. Today, I want to take a look at uploading stock footage so you can make some extra money on the side when you're already doing production. So if, when you make a short film or you even do client work, you could take some of that unused footage or used footage and then put clips up uh, on some of the stock footage sites so that you can be making money off of the footage after you're done using it for what you want to use it for. When you're doing client gigs, you got to make sure that you have permission for that and that it's a part of the agreement. So you can do that. But if you own the footage, if it's your own short film, whatever it is, uh, you can go ahead and do this. I have a ton of footage and I've, I've never done this before. Uh, I don't really know why, because I could have been making money off of this footage, but I hadn't done it yet. Maybe it was intimidating. Maybe it felt too difficult and I didn't want to figure it out. But as it turns out, it's not difficult at all. It's insanely easy. I uploaded one clip and then wanted to show you guys the process. And I'm going to be uploading a lot more stuff over time, just clips that we don't use or just clips that I like that I think people will get benefit from. I'll just keep uploading those over time. But now let's take a look at how I did this with Adobe Stock inside of Premiere because that is the easiest way to do it. So inside of Premiere right here, you can see that I've already made my selects of all the clips that I do want to export to send to Adobe Stock. And these are clips, uh, slow-mo footage that we shot with a phantom camera when we did a promo for our sound designer toolkit, which is online now, and you can find a link for in the notes below. But I have a bunch of uh, these really cool slow-mo shots, lots of destruction in uh, high-speed slow motion, lots of fun stuff like, you know, water, things like that. So now once I have my selection, which by the way, an easy way to do the selection is to select your clip, put the cursor over it and just hit X and it will automatically create an in and out point that matches that clip. So that's the easiest way to do it. Just cursor over, hit X and there you go. So I'll do that. Then I'll hit control E to bring up my export settings. And then in here, I'm going to be able to dial in what settings I need to be able to upload to Adobe stock. There are a few things that you need to do for it to be accepted by Adobe stock. Like you need certain frame rates. They'll also do uh, container formats like MOV, MP4, AVI. And then if you're compressing to put it on, uh, they want either ProRes or DNX HD. I'm on Windows, so I'm gonna do DNX HD. So for format, I have QuickTime, and then I'm gonna uncheck audio because I don't have any audio in this clip. Then in video codec, I will go to DNX HR slash DNX HD. Then I'm gonna turn this to 10 bit. Then I'm gonna do match settings. And here I have it as a 1920 by 1080 sequence, which is what they accept. They accept 1080 all the way up to 4K. I'm gonna do render at max depth, use max render quality and then I'm going to go over to publish. Inside of publish, you can see there's a checkbox here for Adobe Stock, so I'll check that. And I'm already logged in. If you're not, you'll just log in right there. And that's it. Now I'm gonna hit export and it's gonna export this and upload it to my Adobe Stock account. So then once you have all that and it's exported, it's going to upload directly to Adobe Stock for you and you'll be able to find it in there. Of course, you can upload through an FTP as well if you don't wanna do it through Premiere like I did. But once you've done it through Premiere, you can come to Adobe Stock and you will find your uh, footage in there. And now you can come here and tag everything you need to, give it uh, a title, and then you can start tagging it with things. It automatically will look at your video and tag it with things that it thinks are helpful. And you could start adding your own keywords here like slow motion, uh, slow motion water, balloon break, whatever. I'll add all of those there. So then once you have all your titles, your keyword and set it to a category that you think is most useful, then you can hit submit for approval, which will go through its approval process, which I think takes a day or so. And then after it goes up, it's ready to be purchased by people. And then you can keep going in and checking if people are buying your footage or not. And you just keep going through that process, adding the clips in, which I'm going to do to fill out mine and hopefully get some, you know, get some side cash coming in because why not? So definitely check that out. If you do make short films or if you just go out and get footage specifically for this, a lot of people have full careers just off of making and selling stock footage. So if you have a drone, you can go out and get some really great stuff, especially if you live in a place with some amazing mountains or scenery, you could definitely be going out and getting some really great things for other people to use. And it doesn't just have to be video. You can upload uh, templates that you've made, uh, 3D graphics, assets that you've made, uh, images, pictures that you've taken, just upload them like crazy. And after you get enough going, you can start making some decent side money. Logo. So that's it for today, which means it's time for my suggestion of the week. And that is Captain Phillips. If you haven't seen it, definitely check it out and also buy it because the special features are really great. It's like an hour's worth of behind the scenes footage. And they're talking very much about the process of making the film. You see some rehearsals, uh, not all the time. You, you're going to get good special features. 
you're going to get a lot of this stuff where the actors are just talking about people elevating material and how great it was to work with so-and-so, and that's not super helpful. This definitely has that in there, but it's a whole lot more about process and their mindset in making the film than anything else, which I think is really helpful. Plus, it's just a fantastic film with an amazing ending. If you have not seen it, definitely check it out. Uh, it's one of my favorites from Tom Hanks. He did an incredible job. But that's it for me. Until next time, don't forget to write, shoot, edit, repeat. Thank you.